Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Albums and Memories, where I talk about a guilty pleasure... No, sorry, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I meant guilty pleasures and memories, not um. Oh my god, sorry. Uh, welcome to another episode of Guilty Pleasures and Memories, where I talk about a guilty pleasure song each day for a 31-day challenge, and I talk about the memories it gave me. Now we're on day 20, I'm going to talk about a Beyonce song, which is called Dangerously in Love. Now, I'm not a huge fan of Beyonce. I wasn't, like, I was, I'm kind of indifferent to her still. Like, I, the, her production style and her music is a little too much for me. Like, I don't really like it all that much. And I, like, her songs keep getting played over, like, her songs kept getting played a lot. And I know that's because she's a pop star. But, oh, God, it just got to me. Like, uh... Back in 2003, my sister was really into Beyonce and uh, Destiny's Child, and she finally got Beyonce, at one point she got Beyonce's first album, which was Crazy in Love, I think. It was a Crazy in Love uh, CD, her very first solo CD from 2003, and uh, she kept playing it over and over again. And I was like, oh god, I don't want to hear the hit songs anymore. But um, the song that actually did get to me was the song Dangerously in Love. And, uh, oh, God. Because it's so stripped down. Everything else is kind of bombastic and such, in a way. And it's just so hard-hitting. And it just gets got tiring after a couple of songs. And then this song, specifically the song, starts off with the piano. And she it's just her voice. And then the drum machine comes and is like, Baby, I love you. You are my life. And I'm like, yeah, even back then I was like, okay, I really like this song. Uh, it's, I'm not, it's not doing anything for me right now, but I just kind of like the song a little bit. And then when the chorus hits, it's like, I am in love with you. You make me feel. I'm like, oh, God, I like this song. <laughs> God damn it. I don't like Beyonce all that much, but I just like this song. Dangerously in love with you, I never leave. Oh, God, I just, I don't know what this song does to me. Uh, like, uh, I don't, like, my sister's like, whatever, you don't like this song. You don't like Beyonce, fine, I'll keep playing. And I'm like, okay, I'm just going to have to suffer through everything else. And then this song comes in like, Okay, I like this song. I'm just going to do this, and then she's not going to see my feet. I'm just going to tap them, like, and she can't read my mind, because, like, I'm just humming the song, and I'm like, oh, God, I like this song. Hell, I like it so much that, like, I was at, uh, in Toronto with a friend, uh, Agnes, and I was, um, singing, like, I was having lunch with her at the Glad Day bookstore, and we were just talking, and then all of a sudden, this Beyonce song, Daniel Slaying Love, comes, and I was like, oh my god, this is my favorite Beyonce song. And then I, and then my friend was just looking at me, Agnes is looking at me like, I was like, well, I'm mouthing the Lord, it's like, make me feel, and I'm like, oh my god, I don't know why, why do I like that song, because it's so stripped down, everything is so stripped down, it's not bombastic. Or it's not like a full-on dance-off, which is fine for some people, but it was just too much for me. But this song, it just makes me want to like, like, hold out my hand for somebody and just like dance with them slowly. That's how I feel, and I don't know why, but sometimes even when I'm alone, I just want to. When that chorus hits, I just want to go down on my knees and just mouth the words. It just gets to me, like, for some reason, it just fucking gets to me. You make me feel, you just keep loving me the way you love, you loving me, cause I, I don't want to listen, to, I, I can't sing, but the song is just so good, and it's, the chorus is just so powerful in my opinion, and it just gets to me so fucking constantly, and the rest of the song is pretty good too. It's actually a really good song overall. It just go it's like it's soft and then it just goes higher like it just explodes for some reason. Like her voice just explodes and it's just so beautiful and everything is just like oh just sing it. Just 
just saying, this is one of the few moments where I just want you to go bom- cut. It's not completely bombastic, but take it to a higher level. Just take it to another level and just bring it. Just go for it. That's pretty much me. That's pretty much my opinion. Like, it's a very underrated song, in my opinion. It's very underrated. Like, I can listen to it, like, any day of the week. Like, it would... I went three straight days just having the song in my fucking head. No other Beyonce song ever did that to me. Not even Old Three Bonnie and Clyde. Not Ring the Alarm, which I used to kind of like, but now I just don't want to listen to anymore. But Dangerously in Love is my jam. It's my Beyonce jam, my go-to. More than any Destiny's Child uh, song, more than any of her solo material. Like, I'm not saying that she's not a talented artist, but that is my favorite Beyonce song. And that's going to be quite a shock to some people because I'm not a Beyonce fan. I still am not, but I do like that song. Oh, God. Oh, uh, yeah. So that's pretty much it for another episode of Guilty Pleasures of Memories. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you another time. Thank you.